Good morning, Aries. My plan is to do a full reading for you today. Uh, past, present, future, heart space, thoughts, um, action space. So if you want to jump straight to that, you can find the um, timestamp in the description box below and you can skip my introduction and go straight for that. Um, now, I got a channel song um, on Saturday night. Um, it sort of woke me up. Um, and it was playing in my head uh, just a few lines from it but I couldn't quite get it I sort of the the voice was quite familiar I feel like it's a singer that I know, I know but I didn't know the song and um, it was a female singer um, but the only words I could kind of get was somebody else so I tried to google it it's just too vague I couldn't quite find it but yeah the words somebody else came through a uh, female singer so you may that may you may know who that is. I do feel like it's quite um, a modern singer, like a recent song. Uh, just couldn't couldn't quite get it. Um, and then I saw um, Marvin the Martian. <laughs> this was last night. I saw very clearly a picture in my head of Marvin the Martian. Um, but I think that's just because a lot of people were talking about space yesterday. Um, so, But maybe, I don't know, if, if you particularly have been thinking about Marvin the Martian or you've seen him, um, you know, that might be a... Um, an indicator for you that there might be more in this reading. Um, a song that's been coming through very, very, very strongly all weekend is Ode to My Family by the Cranberries. And I feel like this is tying in from the energies of last week's reading towards the end of the week, where um, we're getting a lot of messages about um, remembering sort of how to be a child again, how to live in the moment, how to find the enjoyment of um, the simple things in life. Um, yeah, sort of finding your happiness through being childlike. So I don't know if anyone wants to go and listen to that song, Ode to My Family by the Cranberries, if that kind of message was resonating for you. Um, I also saw a lion's paw, uh, just a lion's paw, almost like the front of the Sphinx, like a lion lying down. Um, and it made me think of the Sphinx. And it also made me think of the, the story of the lion and the mouse from Aesop's Fables, where um, he pulls the... Um, the uh, thorn out of the lion's paw um, so th there could be a relationship somewhere for you where um, perhaps one of you is very healing to the other one of you may be seen as perhaps being quite aggressive or moody um, and somebody else is coming along and healing you um, and then you'd be like between friends that way possibly uh, you can go and look up that story if you want more information on that now the interesting thing about that is it did come through for me in one reading and may have been Leo's reading, I'm not quite sure, uh, but I had one of the strengths cards and that message kind of popped into my head. And then I saw another reader um, talking about it, I think it was Awakening to Spirit, uh, she was talking about it too, and then it's come out for me again with this lion's paw, so that there's a message there going on for somebody or a certain group. Um, now this morning when I... Um, I, it was about five o'clock, I think it was like five minutes past five, and there was a crow outside my window, and he was so noisy, like really, really kind of, it was like this crow was going, right, come on, time to get up, it's Monday, get out of bed, get on, on the floor, do your reading, um, a quite a quite an aggressive grumpy crow noise this was um so i got up and i tried to have a look for him but i couldn't quite see him i think he's off to in some trees um uh, sort of down the road but he was so loud and so insistent and i just couldn't go back to bed after that um but then it kind of as i sat down to do the reading uh three crows came over um near the, the chimney top sort of very very close to my house um three crows and they were like baby baby crows I think at least one of them was definitely a baby and that had a really like cute core sound so some of you may have three children you may be uh, looking after children at the moment if, if other people are working and you're staying at home um, I don't know there's something with the crows there's something with that loud grumpy crow and then the three kind of pleasant young playful crows um, and I also got from that I got again Three Little Birds by Bob Marley which seems to be an, another insistent song for us at the moment it's like don't worry about a thing everything's going to be all right the universe has got our backs and it's uh four 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 on the clock right now so there you go that's a message for somebody um then I also got uh not on the clock on the timestamp of the video um 
I got um, some songs from Spotify for you. The song that was already playing was She Wolf by Shakira. So that might be um, important for some of you. Um, and then the song that it actually gave you when I asked for a song and shuffled was uh, I Don't Know You Yet, I-D-K you yet by alexander 23 and it's a very very sweet song i definitely recommend listening to that one and it may definitely have some messages for you there the lines that stood out for me was how can you miss someone you've never met so some of you may have met someone on social media especially if you've been um under quarantine in lockdown recently and you've been spending a lot of your social time online there may be someone online who's sort of caught your eye but you've not met them yet um and the line half a heart, it's sort of like, what I was getting was he was sort of saying, uh, he was healing from something, so some of you may have be healing from a past situation, a past relationship, and you may feel like your heart's broken, right, you've only got half a heart, and it's like, well, how can I go towards this person if I've only got half a heart, and it's, well, well, that other person's going to have half a heart, and together you're going to make a whole heart, right, so... I don't know, there's a message there for someone, definitely go and check out those songs, they'll all be in the description box below for you, uh, along with any other songs or messages that come through during this reading. Now I just had to pause there, and you can probably hear it in my voice. Um, last night I kind of have a, had a bit of a coughing fit, I had a really, really tickly throat, started coughing as I was trying to get to sleep, I had to go get up and go and have a sweet tea. Um, and it kind of came out of the blue, um, and then it's sort of affecting me now, now that I'm doing your reading. Um, and the funny thing is, when I re-watched uh, the Aries reading from last week, um, my alarm went off then, so alarm bells may be ringing for someone now. Um, when I did um, Aries' reading last week, um, my throat's gone really itchy, the outside of my throat and everything. Um, Again, I think I had like a, a, a little cough or something with my throat and I mentioned it during the reading. It's 7-7 seven, seven now. Uh, so again, this is we're getting synchronicities. This may be important for someone. And the, the ambulance is there as well. Okay, so we had my alarm go off and the ambulance and the 7-7. Seven, seven. So um, the, some of you may have throat problems. Uh, if you haven't already, go and get those checked out by a doctor. Um, somebody you may know someone who's had problems with the throat somebody may be smoking because it was actually a joss stick that really irritated my throat last night now I've burned them all the time they don't normally bother me in the slightest but last night it was like yeah so I feel like it's a message about possibly someone smoking please take care of your health uh, please take care of those around you um, any throat troubles please go and get those checked out but also that um, you may know someone who has throat trouble but also the um your throat chakra may be blocked. If you have something to say to someone, if you've been holding back saying something, I really feel like you, you're going to need to get that out. You either need to say what you need to say or you need to uh, perhaps write it down. So write, write it, out, it out in a letter what you'd say to the person. You don't even have to send it. You can burn it straight away. You can throw it away whatever but type out what you need to say because some of you really need to unblock that throat chakra okay okay ready to go um do drink plenty of water as well if you're not already uh right can i get um, a card please for the past heart space please for aries so we've got the six of swords in reverse oh i forgot actually i was going to do uh before we continue with that i was going to do an overall energy can I get an overall energy, please, for um, Aries? Uh, so we've got um, Aletheia. Aletheia. Oh, interesting. So we've got this mirroring. You may be mirroring someone else. Um, or you may be trying to balance yourself, your dark side and your light side. Um, the dark side and the light side. That could be relevant to something or someone. Um, yeah, I'm definitely seeing mirroring. Uh, and then we've got the river. I to see that horse there. Crossing a river. Maybe finding a bridge. Maybe, maybe there's something blocking you that you need to cross. Blocking you emotionally, whether it be in a river. Um, and you need to cross that river. But you need to find how to cross it, right? The, the, your emotions are an obstacle. You need to know how to cross it. But the horse does have strength and perseverance. I'm hearing water horse. Uh, river of Emotions, Cry Me a River by Justin Timberlake. Cry Me a River. 
uh, trouser snake. <laughs> Um, okay, I'm just going to say what I'm getting from this. Uh, some people are speculating that we're getting Star Wars for The Sims. Uh, so I am seeing um, Kylo Ren and Rey here. Uh, their kind of relationship where uh, one's on the dark side but they've got a lot of light in them and one's on the light side but they've got a lot of dark in them. So you may be, you may be connecting with someone like this. Um, yeah, this, it could be a mirroring relationship here. Uh, I may just quickly have a look at the description. I don't want the readings to be too long this week, so I'm going to have a look at this description in the book um, and then sort of off screen, and then I'm going to relate it back to you. One second. Okay, I am going to read it because I think it will be helpful to you. Um, but before I do, I, I uh, calculated these Latin numbers and it's 77. Uh, 50, 60, 70, 5, 6, 7, 77. And it's interesting that I pointed out 7, 7 on the timestamp for you. 7s may be um, important for you this week. Uh, so watch out for the number 7. Watch out for 77s or repeating 7s. Um, pay attention to what you're thinking when you see them. Um, pay attention to what's going on around you, to any signs, any songs that may be playing. Okay, so Alethea, uh, truth. Our soul recognises the truth. When someone speaks it, a cool wave of relief washes over the room and all the facts and figures in the world fall by the wayside. Such is the power of Alethea. It has an unde undeniable resonance that goes beyond the rational. We can also recognise Alethea by its contagiousness. When we hear someone speak the truth, we see the truth within ourselves and are more likely to tell our own story. The Alethea, okay, uh, Me Too pops into my head then. When we see someone telling their story with like the Me Too movement, it encourages us to, us to come forward with our own stories and that provides support and emotional support for other people. That's the story that pops into my head. doesn't have to be that for you. It's just an example. The Alethea card requires us to step towards an act of truth. We may look like it may, This may look like a conversation, a gesture, a poetic act or a ritual that honours the unveiling of what's been concealed. Reclaiming your own truth is a way to reclaim your vital energy, health and sense of belonging in the world. Truth has its own wings, set it free. Okay, I'm going to quickly show you that one so you can pause it and reread it if you need to. Um, so that's really interesting because I was saying with the throat chakra, with my itchy throat, that somebody sort of needs to speak up, speak their truth. Um, yeah, something needs to be said here. Um, what, let's have a look at the river as well. Okay, so this one says, uh, the river, the stream, the, th the flow, the current. Give that one a little bit closer for you there. There is a reason so many rituals of change and rebirth take place in the river. It is forgiveness embodied in physical form. Without asking anything in return, the river washes away what is no longer necessary, smoothing over sharp edges and accepting all our mistakes and grievances. Once we step in, we are no longer in control. The river carries us farther down the stream of transformation than we plan to go. Its waters have a special gift for reflecting back to us. Reflecting. Okay. Um... Uh, reflecting back to us a new and dreamlike vision. Once the tears have passed, we can see ourselves as we haven't before, with a little more lightness, grace, and fluidity. Keep in mind that that the keep in mind the you that stands within the river is the real you, full of deep emotion and potential. Nothing to hide, nothing to hide, nothing to judge. May you drink in the sight of your true self. So yeah, this is about being, there's a lot of truth here. Being true to yourself, speaking your truth, standing in your full power. Um, so this is going to be like the, the key messages for you here. I don't really know where to put these when they're not going to be too much in the way. Maybe over here. Okay, but yes, yeah, so maybe someone's doing a lot of reflecting at the moment. Uh, emotional reflection. Okay, so we had that. Um, eight of swords in reverse there that's someone no longer feeling trapped or someone feeling completely trapped it could be either or we'll get to that in a, in a minute we'll get clarifiers um, in your current um, heart space you have the six of pentacles um, I also saw the page of pentacles there that came out for you in the last reading that's the Elsa card so you can go and look that up if you want to and here we go oh in the future heart space three of cups in reverse okay 
So we'll get more information there. Nine of Cups. So this is about your happiness. Uh, finding that inner happiness, being good on your own. That's kind of oh, the general message. And we're getting the Five of Pentacles there as well. Uh, so perhaps you've been feeling out in the cold from a situation. You may have felt like somebody has blocked you perhaps. Um, uh, you've lost a connection. Uh, you've lost something. Five of Pentacles is about some sort of loss. And that's left you feeling a little bit dependent, a little bit miserable. And you're thinking, well, how can I be good on my own? How can I find that inner happiness? Um, um, without having that emotional attachment to other people um so again take what resonates leave anything that doesn't this is a general reading for aries so it can't connect with every single aries out there so there will be messages in here for everybody but not necessarily every message will be for you take what resonates leave what doesn't um okay here we go let's go to your thoughts past thoughts please for aries past thoughts please for aries Oh, ouch, ouchy, ouchy. Um, past thoughts, please, for Aries. That was the Nine of Swords. We have judgment. Uh, sorry, this is current thoughts for Aries. Uh, future thoughts for Aries. Future thoughts, please, for Aries. Uh, the Hierophant, okay. Uh, King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck there. Um, so this could be about work. It could be about a husband um you could be feeling very very financially stable i doubt that that's you with the five of pentacles um you may be working out how to be like that um okay in the um uh, i'm going to take both of these cards in your past action space you have the sun and the tower okay um current action space please current action space for aries thank you two cards again uh, three of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Um, future action space, please, for Aries. Yeah, no longer wanting to fight, no longer wanting conflict. Ten of Cups, yeah. So you're really sort of working out how to find that emotional happiness, emotional stability. You've got the Nine and the Ten of Cups. You may be thinking about joining with someone else. Uh, notably, um, these are all shuffled, uh, but the card that came out at the end of Pisces' reading is here for you um, uh, in the underline already. Um, so you may want to go and have a quick look at Pisces' reading and just see if there's anything there for you as well, if you feel like this reading is connecting for you, um, or if you have Pisces in your chart in other placements. Uh, so can I get uh, what's changing, what needs to change for Aries, please? Thank you. Okay, same card again. I did shuffle really really well then. It was in the middle of the deck. It came flying out. So that's important for you. You've got the world card there at the bottom as well. So I feel like somebody is really ready to step into a new cycle here. Somebody may be traveling. Perhaps you're at a distance from somebody that you've connected to online and you're wanting to travel towards them. Perhaps you feel like this is where your happiness is. Perhaps you've got your nine of cups. You're good on your own. You're ready to step into a relationship with somebody else, step into a new cycle, to travel to them, uh, to celebrate and have happiness Okay, so what needs to change? Um, um, so this is a card about celebrating with other people. It can be going to a party. It's um, a very abundant card. It's I feel like two people connecting who um, get a lot of enjoyment with each other. Um, who, um, yeah, you may be partying too much. You may be drinking too much. Uh, this could be coming in for you in the future. It could be something that happened in the past. But this is, like I said, this is the card about something that needs to change for you. Um, you may, this may be you or um, possibly Capricorn energy because it's sort of like a ram or a goat. Um, and this is um, like somebody who's very, very pure-hearted. I see this as very pure intentioned. Um, do be careful that nobody's taking advantage of you. That you're not taking advantage of anybody else. Yeah, definitely drinking involved here. Um, there may be a sense of um, overindulging in too many pleasures. So this, the change is that I feel like you're leaving something behind. Perhaps you're walking away from. Um, if there was energies where. Um, you can always see that she's pulling away from this person. So there may be somebody who um, you partied a lot with, who uh, encouraged you to drink too much. Um, and you're kind of maybe possibly pulling away from that now. It doesn't mean that you have to leave them behind. It's just that you're leaving some kind of negative behavior behind, I see. But this is about happiness. It is about coming together with somebody else. Um, and it's almost like dancing away into the sunset there. Um, happy together. I'm hearing happy together. Uh happy together i love that song 
it's like probably one of my all time like is it the turtles it's by it's like probably one of my like all time favorite songs it's just so cute imagine me and you i do imagine me and you again we have that song that's like how can you miss someone you've never met uh, perhaps you're imagining what it's like to be with somebody because so perhaps this is what's going to change you're going to meet them you're going to dance off into the sunset together take what resonates leave what doesn't but do be careful um yeah there's a bit of a warning there about drinking too much overindulging too much okay so I've got my clarifiers ready. Let's have a look at your past. Let's just move these over a little bit while we have a look at your past. So in your past heart space, you've got the, uh, can you focus please? The Eight of Swords here in reverse. So the Eight of Swords is a card about being stuck. Um, also in your thoughts, you have the uh, Nine of Swords. So this is telling me that you've been really, really overthinking something, really, um, uh, over analyzing something you it's like you you've got your your heart is being ruled by your thoughts here swords are about thoughts so you've got all you're all swords in your heart space um so this could be making you feel quite closed off making you feel like you kind of have to go into hermit mode you just want to curl up in bed too many thoughts anxiety um mental confusion mental conflict um overthinking things but you, what you're doing is you're actually blocking your heart space because you've got this painful swords energy too many things to think about too many thoughts about a situation uh, maybe actually literally making yourself ill this is look it's like she's in bed so your thoughts are causing you to have to go back to bed um to take a time out and um, maybe make your thoughts maybe literally making you sick uh there's something here about wanting some more information as well something you don't know something that's unclear um and you want more information on it and i'm also seeing this chessboard here as well particularly the black and white again you may be connecting with someone else here maybe connecting with someone in your dream space um uh, but it's like this game of chess right um yeah not knowing it's like what i'm getting from this is like you don't know there's something you don't know and with that chessboard kind of pattern it's like you're worried about what someone else is planning you don't know what what moves someone else is making it's like you kind of want to read someone's mind you want to know what the intentions are of somebody else what the plans are of somebody else but you don't know and the not knowing is causing you a lot of mental anxiety uh, this is like literally like it can be depression it can be um get like strong anxiety making yourself sick okay um i don't feel like i need to clarify that i think that's quite clear um what you have here is uh the tower and the sun in your action space so you're trying to find out the truth you know that the truth may be painful it may be something that's destructive it may really shake up your world but not knowing is is you can't not know anymore it's is making you sick you can't stay in that energy anymore and like i say this is in your past so this is what you've been through so there's a sense of like trying to bring light to a situation trying trying to bring clarity trying to shine a spotlight in someone could be something to do with your childhood we do have a child here could be something to do with somebody who's sagittarius or leo this is the leo card and horses make me think of sagittarius um there's something to do uh, questioning somebody's loyalty as well here with all these uh, sunflowers you might not know someone's intentions so if you're connecting with someone you might not really know what their intentions are if their intentions are good or not um i've got that song again um it's that my intentions are good uh what song was it i feel like it's kiara kiara um 50 cent but i can't remember the name of the song uh, i'll pop it in the description box below um intention is good um so yeah magician here so i've got this as a clarifier generally for the past uh so you may be connecting with someone who's like a virgo perhaps this kind of gives me virgo energy somebody could be um it's somebody who makes things happen he um takes i'm saying he it could be a he uh it doesn't have to be uh this is <coughs> excuse me or this could be what you're trying to do uh so again we've got that moon there there's things that are unseen there's things that are unclear and we have this sun here as well again i'm getting i am definitely getting almost like a soulmate or a twin flame relationship where there's some reflecting there's some like uh, polar opposites um 
yeah mirroring um because like with, with the sun and the moon but it doesn't have to be um it can just be like um yeah secrets uh, using your intuition things not being clear trying to bring the sun into the situation and i feel like this is someone we've got this book here this is like knowledge someone trying to discover the truth um someone could have read something and it's it's caused kind of a tower moment for them um but the magician is someone who takes the above and brings it below they take dreams and ideas um and they can kind of make it into a tangible reality uh, so it's someone who's very practical they have all the tools to get the job done um yeah a sort of alchemist kind of energy here as well so somebody's really trying to kind of uh, ground the dreams make things happen um so this could be you or the person you're connecting with uh, if someone's making something happen perhaps you're anxious or you were anxious because you didn't know how they were going to do it what was their plan what were they actually doing um so there you go and the king of pentacles has flipped again so this could have been the king of pentacles for you we had the king of pentacles up here in the underlying um uh, and again we've got that reflection right somebody doing some reflection work could be someone doing some emotional healing some inner reflection or it could literally be like um mirroring somebody um Again, I'm getting this, could be a relationship here that's at a distance, um, mirroring someone else, um, intuitively connecting with someone, we've got that moon there again. Um, he's, I'm also noticing how they're both looking at us, right? They're not looking at each other, they're looking at us. Um, King of Pentacles, yes, yeah, so there could be a boss here. Uh, a boss who's kind of watching you or you're watching a boss um could be a father figure uh, could be someone who is a father if you've got children i did say somebody might have children when it's because of those crows um could be someone who's in a very icy cold situation right now uh who's yeah uh it's like a closed heart space right so the king of pentacles if you're connecting with someone else they could have a closed heart space they could they could have gone through something that's um left them feeling quite cold and emotionless like scared to open up their heart okay i'm gonna move on now because i'm noticing oops sorry i'm noticing this um hearts uh this is like a broken heart here uh the three of swords in your current energies in your current action space so i feel like it's good to move on to this now um so um the ten of wands is someone who feels very very burdened by something uh they're carrying a lot of burdens they've been on a long journey uh something that's been a heartbreaking situation for them it's caused them a lot of pain a lot of heartache but this is like somebody who's ready to drop those burdens now so this is in your action space so this it probably is you but it could be someone you're connecting with if this isn't resonating for you especially if there's a relationship here um this could be the other person yeah really really like pain heartache but what i'm specifically seeing here is these um fairies around right the fairies i feel come to help and the way that they help is they can poke fun they can be very playful very mischievous but it's a childlike energy so it's like um uh, they're, I feel like they're trying to heal this broken heart. So if there are children around you, sort of do try, um, you know, the children may be helping you to heal or um, finding your that childhood energy that I was talking about in the beginning of the reading. Um, learning how to be playful again, learning how to not take everything so seriously, learning to look on the bright side of life, learning to, like children have a way uh, very often of like, if something's painful for them, if they, if something is um, not enjoyable for them, uh, they just don't go near it. They just avoid it, right? They they go off and do something else that makes them happy. They're very good at finding their happiness um, and avoiding any pain. So this is perhaps the lesson that these fairies are trying to teach you. And that this card is about it's been time to drop those burdens. So you may be coming to the end of something that felt like a very long journey. You did have that world card there in the underlying. Um, a long cycle for you that's felt, felt like you've been carrying a lot of weight on your shoulders, a lot of weight on your back, a lot of responsibility perhaps. Um, definitely sense of something being heartbreaking. Um, very painful. Uh, but this is like it's time to drop those burdens now. Drop them and you're nearly there. You're nearly at your destination. You might not see how you're going to get there yet. You can see this is up in the sky, but he's going to make it. He's going to get there. Um, it's like, and this judgment as well. It's like, this is, it's time, right? It's here in the judgment call. Um, it may be also that uh, somebody may have passed over for you. Uh, you know, um, my heart goes out to you if you have experienced a loss. You know, definitely that could be a heartbreaking situation. It may have been that this was not 
it could have been sudden. You have got that tower moment there in your past action space. Um, it could have been sudden, but I'm feeling more that it was a long journey. Somebody may have been sick for a very long time. Um, and now it's like, now is the time that they're crossing over. Um, so there is a sense of it being an emotional release. Um, if this has been hard for a very long time and exhausting, um, a sense of being able to now find the calm, now find the space where you can process, let responsibilities go um, and take that time to relax and heal. Uh, again, that's for some of you, not for everybody. Please don't panic. I don't want to have anyone panicking. You'll know if that's your situation or not. It's not going to come as a surprise to you, me saying this, because that's, you know, the surprise is in your past. That's already happened, whatever the surprise was for you. Um, this is, um, you'll, you'll know if this is your situation or not. And my heart does go out to you because that is, this is heavy. This is painful. Okay. I understand. Um, Again, that doesn't have to be everybody's situation. It could just be something that was painful. Uh, but yeah, some, for some of you, you could be hearing the call now, hearing the judgment call. It's time to move on from something, something that may have felt like it's ended, somebody that's, something that's been hard to deal with, heavy, burdensome, um, but really feeling like it's hearing the call, feeling like it's time now to kind of revitalize yourself, rejuvenate yourself, um, step out into a brand new cycle. It's almost like, I'm, like I feel like the fool should be here. Um, so we've got the six of pentacles here in your heart space as well so you're really trying to balance yourself you're trying to find some kind of inner equilibrium i feel in the heart space um pentacles so this is about work i feel like you're putting the work in on yourself putting in the work in to kind of balance your emotions balance your find that stability within yourself um Something about fairness as well. Uh, you may feel it felt like a situation was unfair because she's got those unbalanced scales there. Uh, you may be connecting with a Libra. Um, a situation that was unfair has caused you a lot of heartache. Um, but yeah, really trying to balance it out now. Trying to, um, it's almost like trying to find an equal give and take in a situation. Can I get a couple of clarifiers here? Can you clarify the Six of Pentacles for me, please? More information on the Six of Pentacles in the heart space. The Emperor. So yeah, there could be definitely be a boss involved here or a father figure. Um, but the Emperor is someone who's... Um, they can be a little bit bossy. They can be a little bit domineering. That's kind of the negative side of the Emperor. But on the whole, the Emperor is like... Um, the, they've achieved everything. They are um, all four kings of the tarot. There's so, I can hear that crow again. Did you hear it? It's like, like really aggressive, loud crow. It's like, I feel like that. Okay, maybe that, that crow is the daddy crow. That's the emperor. Um, yeah, he's looking after his, his babies. <laughs> um, so that could be relevant to you. It could not be. I'm also seeing that this is like, is this ivy here? Ivy could be symbolic for you for some reason. Um, but yeah, the Emperor. So this is somebody who is uh, very, very grounded, uh, very capable. Could be this magician here. Could be the same energy. Somebody who gets things done. Somebody who can can take control of a situation. Someone who's a natural leader. Um, it's somebody, because he's all four kings, he's passionate, he's creative. He um, goes out and gets what he wants. He makes things happen. He's um, emo emotionally very, very stable. Emotionally very... Um, uh, he, ha he has a, a depth of emotions, he knows how to connect to his emotions, doesn't necessarily express them, really knows, has a lot of emotional control and may place cards close to his chest, doesn't mean he's uncaring or unfeeling, he just um, has a lot of emotional control, uh, could, he could be also be very, very nurturing, again, it could be like a father figure, somebody who's nurturing, somebody who... Um, inspires those who are learning who you know those underneath his wing he really nurtures them inspires them there's that crow again so that could be on the money um, um so so if this is like your boss it's somebody who like really wants you to succeed really tries to show you the ropes uh really um gives you responsibility and lets you try things out um but yeah, very kind of very loving, very nurturing, but quite can be quite um, uh, aloof with it. Um, and uh, what am I missing? L logical, um, 
logical, takes action when he needs to take action, uh, knows how to communicate, when to communicate, what to communicate. Yeah, so it's it's kind of like if this is a love interest for you, <laughs> that noisy crow, if this is a love interest for you, it's like he's like the best guy it's like everything you could ever want like the full package okay could just be a little bit bossy a little bit closed off a little bit of a control freak uh could be taurus could be aries you, this could be you uh could be capricorn uh doesn't have to be could be any of those signs or it could just be a completely different sign it's just the energy um so let's see uh we've got the judgment card here what's this judgment card about please judgment card please what's his judgment card doing here oh okay that's not too many cards but that's the one that flipped and came yeah being patient in a situation you might be waiting for someone to make a judgment call you might be yeah it might be waiting for someone to because this is in your thoughts as well uh, so you're thinking about perhaps which way situation is going to go is it going to go in your favor is it not going to go in your favor you've also got two more white horses here so i do feel like those white horses can be significant uh this is the sagittarius card could be connecting with the sagittarius um uh, judgment is kind of libra again um again doesn't have to be these signs i'm just i just know that some people like me to call them out but you can leave them the it's energy is more important than the sign okay um because the different star sign energies affect all of us at different times in our lives. Uh, so unicorn as well, a sense of like, there's a sense of wonder, a sense of like, could this really happen? So yeah, there's a sense of, especially if you're in like a twin flame relationship, it's like, is this real? Like, how can this be real? It's like, I didn't believe in God and the universe before. I didn't believe in fate before, but now I'm like believing in unicorns. <laughs> uh, so that's just for a small amount of you. Uh, if that's your, if that's your, um, story um again a sense of nurturing here there's like a parent-child relationship that seems very important in this reading um a sense of fantasy a sense of wonder a sense of believing in the impossible a believing a sense of connecting again to like uh, that childhood um that childhood innocence of of being able to believe in the impossible believe in fairy tales believe in um yeah, I believe in fairies, believe in unicorns. And I can hear the baby crows. Can you hear the baby crows? Okay, there's definitely something going on with those crows and parent-child relationships here. Uh, can you tell me anything more about the Ten of Wands? Uh, five of Swords. I think you're coming to see now that a situation that may have felt very disappointing in the past, a situation that didn't go your way, it didn't turn out as you expected it to, um, it's kind of like all is not lost. And I think you're seeing that now. Uh, you're seeing actually the, that there's still potential in a situation or that there's still something that can be learnt or... Um, uh, uh, salvaged from a situation uh, I think yeah I think you're getting ready now to drop these burdens to drop this heartache uh, and to have some uh, some clarity on a situation where it's like all is not lost right you may have felt like a complete ending here like 10 you've got the 10 and uh, there's a lot going on for you. you've got a lot of major arcana here you've got the magician the sun the tower the emperor the judgment temperance uh, yeah there's some something big here for you uh you're gonna know what that is um it's gonna be different for all of you but like as i've been saying like something in this reading is there for you and it's something big uh some kind of big realization i'm seeing some kind of like i've seen it mostly as like this tower moment in the judgment call some kind of like real shake up in your thoughts where you're dropping this these past situations where you've had this very heavy energy um and it's like you're now seeing the light you're ready to move forward it's like you know they were talking about uh, this, the river being a place of like rebirth um yeah you've done some inner work some reflection some shadow work uh and it's like you're ready now for this rebirth right to turn the the dark side into the light side uh right let's keep going because i don't want the readings to be too long if possible so three of cups in reverse this is in your heart space. So again, I've got this sense of like um, p people you were connecting with in the past. I was getting picking this up from this card. So people you were connecting with from the past who may have um, caused you to overindulge, right? And maybe have drank too much, ate too much. Uh, so friends who are kind of, they can still be very, very good friends, but perhaps they have a bit of a negative influence on you in certain areas where you weren't looking after yourself. You know, if you were drinking too much, drinking too much can definitely cause this energy energy because um it it starves your brain of important nutrients that that um 
that can actually cause you to spiral into uh, a depressive state. You can go and Google that, how, how alcohol affects your mental state. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's, it blocks your blocks your body from cre uh, from uh, absorbing nutrients that your brain needs to be able to function um, at a healthy level. So I do feel like some of you have definitely cut down on your drinking and you're definitely starting to feel better for it. Um, you know, um, and you're done fighting something. Uh, in your action space, it's like you're past fighting, you're past the conflict. You're not interested in that conflict anymore. Um, you're done with the drama, I'm seeing. So there could be a situation where... Um, you know, you had a friend group in the past, there was a lot of drama with them, you know, like you'd go out drinking with them, somebody would always end up fighting or crying, uh, there'd always be arguments, always be conflicts, and you kind of, I feel like you've grown spiritually, because hearing your thoughts, the Hierophant card is here saying, so you've grown spiritually, you, you've become, you've grown up, you've become, um, a more stable, grounded person. Uh, you could have become more spiritual, especially like with this time in lockdown where you, we can't go out more, right? Uh, so if you were going out in the past before lockdown started, um, overindulging, drinking too much, going out partying too much, um, doesn't have to be this. It, there's other messages here that can come through, but this is the main message I'm getting. Um, you like this time like spent where you can't go to the pub anymore right you can't go around to your mate's house whenever you want anymore um you're stuck inside all the time but it's caused you this kind of reflective energy where you've kind of perhaps become more spiritual you become wiser this, there's definitely something about becoming wiser becoming more grounded here um like soul growth right uh and this is in your thoughts uh and it's a five as well it's this this is a change for you something's changed in your energy here in the way you think um and, and yeah so leaving this like they're both in the reverse this is like what you want to drop you want to leave this uh, you, you still want to kind of like find that happiness that i've seen but as i said this is a this is what's changing for you so instead of moving towards the party all the time maybe you're leaving the party a bit earlier uh, leaving the party with someone who's a bit more stable um yeah i see with, with me picking up on that being kind of like it could be aries energy it could be capricorn energy like capricorns are like quite a grounded energy um moving towards the sun again we could be connecting with a leo um yeah um so I think perhaps you're, when you're looking for relationships now, instead of looking for the person who wants to have fun all the time, you know, the person who's exciting, who's like playful, who, um, who you have a really good time with, who you get drunk with, who um, you get into uh, all sorts of shenanigans with, and that's playful and that's fun, right? But it's almost like the sense of like growing up, right? they're taking the time out being patient doing the healing work which has made you feel a bit more grown up and you're still looking for someone who can have fun but somebody who's a little bit more responsible who can take a bit more um who you who you're going to be happy to leave the party early with that's the kind of relationship you're looking for now it's like yeah we're going to go out we're going to have fun we're going to have a few drinks but we're going to leave before it gets too crazy and we're going to go and make our own fun you know it's that kind of thing so let's just see if there's any additional messages here why is the three of cups in reverse why is the three of cups in the reverse please um okay there we go so we've got the name of swords uh so this one there's a sense of unlocking some information here uh you also have the temperance card there again oh temperance hangman two of swords yeah so bit of a story time here so you've got two crows two ravens here so again like those crows are definitely on our backs today definitely got messages for us and um, crows can be about spying about gathering information about um acquiring knowledge um they are quite they can be a little bit sneaky not in an underhand way but in kind of like a flying under the radar kind of way but there's a sense of with the knave of swords um this is like information gathering um could could definitely be spying because it gives me like spying through the keyhole energy but like unlocking information okay uh, so there's this this information that's been realized like with that tower moment in the past uh, which has gone then gone into oh it's the empress oh my goodness i read it as temperance but it's the empress okay we have the empress and the emperor this is a power couple again if you're picking up on like a mirror uh, mirroring soulmate um twin flame relationship you've got you've got the power couple of the tarot here now from the same deck as well um yeah from the same deck uh so 
Yeah, absolute power couple. The Empress is like the female equivalent of the Emperor. The difference is, if you go back to remembering what I said about the Emperor, the difference is the Empress is more um, emotionally um, um, expressive. She's more expressive. She, She's more communicative. She's more... Like where the Emperor kind of plays his cards close to his chest, the Empress is more likely to sh explain, show how she feels, show her emotions, extend that inner light to others more, um, in a much more nurturing, um, uh, feminine, expressive way, okay? Uh, again, like, don't worry too much about gender roles, you can do vice versa, you could be two women, two men, um, it's just the energies, it's just the differences that the Emperor is more reserved, the Empress is more expressive. Um, yeah. Um, what I'm also getting here is, now it's from the same deck, so it's like perfect match, okay, but you may be from different walks of life, these are different animals, they've had different experiences, um, definitely getting parent-child relationship here again with these horses, could be connecting, this is Taurus Libra, um, this is Sagittarius, uh, the horses do give me Sagittarius energy, I sort of mentioned that before, so you could have these placements in your chart, doesn't have to be, I'm just saying it because I know some people like to hear it. But yeah, you both you may both have children already. I did get this maybe for some of you this is like an older energy. You know, it takes a long time to get to be in um emperor empress energy. Um it's like double Taurus here as well. You may be connecting with the Taurus. Um again don't have to be um yeah both of you may already have children from um, a, a previous relationship yeah because you had like the heartache card as well uh could be healing from something uh but yeah empress moving into an empress energy um get getting information perhaps getting information on an empress or you have got em information if you are the empress could be a mother um if it's not you it could be a mother <clears throat> excuse me or a female boss um the hangman uh taking a time out to really think about this so it's like you've got information um on this empress or you are the person who's got the information if you're in empress energy uh, it's caused you to really take a time out to think things through to do some reflective work to tune into your spiritual side your um your intuition more uh, definitely something has ended here with that skull but again it's like this skull is the ending we have like tens in this readings which are endings but this is bringing in a new start for you. you've got the world card there it's actually if you look closely at this skull it's got a map of the world on it uh, there's a magnifying glass there somebody's definitely been taking a closer look at something may have been taking a close look at the news or a contract there's a pentacle here there could be some kind of offer offer being made after a period of reflective work of going inwards of looking at things differently the information you receive could have caused you to look at things differently um but there's some kind of blockage here somebody's still either blocking their intuition or blocking communication um yeah some for some reason some there's still a blockage uh can i get more on the hierophant quickly please uh, judgment, yeah, somebody's scared of judgment, I think, judgment perhaps, if, if you're breaking away from traditional, uh, traditional values, traditional, uh, ways of doing things, they could be, uh, you could feel like you're facing judgment, um, again, judgment, it's like you've got the heartbreak there as well, it's like being judged for a situation that's caused a heartbreak, uh, feeling wanting to be more independent cats normally mean independence for me worrying about how people are going to see this you may be worried about three of cups is card about gossip as well uh so you've got the three of cups about gossip five of soul uh five of wands which is about arguments fighting um so if you may have been in a situation where you were really worried about if you were breaking away from tradition doing something uh the hangman card is about going your own way doing something unique um worried about how many people may judge this you may be worried about what people are saying about you about gossip about people arguing with you about people not understanding your point of view about conflict but i feel with these two in the reverse if that was your situation in the future you're going to move past this okay you're going to move past this because you're working on your happiness on your healing okay not worrying about what people are going to say or think anymore um yeah okay so can i get a card on the five of seven of ones yeah you're standing up for yourself this is you standing up for what you believe in standing up for your truth defending yourself defending something you've got judgment here twice as well guys 
double judgment. Yeah, you've it's like you've heard the call. You've had you've had a big shake up, a big wake up. You're moving towards some your own happiness, your own inner healing, dropping anything that's been a burden, walking away from things that haven't served you in the past, moving into a new cycle, trying to find your happiness. There you go, standing up for yourself. Okay. Making a decision moving forward with that three of pentacles there. And it's showing me the six of wands. This is where your success lies. Uh, yeah, moving on. Uh, wanting to be successful. Uh, healing yourself. Moving forward is what's going to bring that success. Right, I need an advice card, please, for Aries before my reading gets too long. <laughs> advice card, please, for Aries. I was hoping for 20 minutes. I've gone well over 20 minutes. I'm at 50 minutes nearly now. Here we go. Here's your advice card. Uh, on track you are on track keep doing it whatever you're doing keep doing it you're on track okay let's find that card the one of scrolls you may be taking a journey as i said some of you i'm definitely picking up on somebody possibly taking a trip somewhere when we're able to with that world card um, and on track okay oh i'm just going to readjust get comfy for story time um I'm going to show you this card as I read it because, um, yeah, um, on track, upright, a man at a train station looks over his shoulder at the sign that points to the other tracks, but he has already looked at his maps and made his decision. He lifts his foot to step onto the train. Through travel or a move, oh, sorry, though travel or a move can be indicated by this card, the meaning is often about your choices and directions. You may have been ambivalent about taking a certain track. In your life with regards to a project a relationship a career directive or even a location but now it's time to decide yeah that two of swords can be about making a decision i'm just turning the page even if you're not quite as assured as you'd like to be the engine is smoking it's smoking i've seen the mask and um, there's a direction that compels you so get on board you will not falter and it's like it's time again you've got that clock there it's time the engine's running the train's ready to leave you're on the right track you've made your decision you, you're going in the in the right way so if you had any doubts about um the decisions you've been making the 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 road in life that you've that you've stepped into this is reassurance for you that you're on track you're making the right choices um the engine's running it's time to go right <laughs> so again um do go and get a second opinion on anything that's come through on this reading before you make any major life decisions. Um, I do trust my cards, but it is a general reading, so it can't be for everybody. So don't do something based solely on the advice of these cards. If your intuition is screaming to you right now, if you're screaming at the screen, oh my God, yes, this is exactly me, this is exactly right, then it's more, much more likely to be for you. You're going to know, trust that intuition. Um, but do get a second second opinion from friends, family, uh, professional advice if you need to before you make any major life decisions. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, right. Okay. I'm just going to quickly show you that that page if you want to pause that and reread it. Uh, maybe take a screenshot. Uh, don't worry about the reversed. It came out in the upright. But you've got a special note there if you want to have a look at that. And uh, the Akashic Force, which is advice on what to do. Take a deep breath and say I'm back on track. Okay, so there we go. I hope that was helpful to you, Aries. Um, I'm really glad that that energy is being left in the past now, the anxiety, the burdens. Um, I think this is brilliant that you're no longer worrying about what people are going to say about your choices and that you're really doing that inner work, that soul work, hearing the call, moving towards your own happiness. Uh, yeah, finding your happiness, finding your abundance, dancing off into the sunset with someone <laughs> that looks good I, i'm happy with how that reading ended do take care aries and i will see you again soon Bye bye